What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Gimme That, which is in Halo 4, beat the par time on the level Reclaimer. So start that level up. You can see I went to the left and totally ignored the, I almost said elephant, but it's a mammoth in Halo 4. The gigantic vehicle in Halo 4 is the mammoth. Halo 3 had the elephant, which was a lot smaller than the mammoth, but very big at the time. But anyway... You can see the Mammoth actually starts up right away if you run up to the left and then Captain Del Rio starts talking and you can run back to the Mammoth. That actually gets the Mammoth to start moving much more quickly and you skip a bunch of dialogue that you'd normally have with what's-his-face up here, Captain Lasky. So nobody's got, or is it Commander Lasky? I don't know. It's Lasky. He's from Forward Unto Dawn, the awesome live-action movie lead into Halo 4. But anyway, obviously you want to run back to the Mammoth once you get it going and hop in there. Once you get it going, the Mammoth does move faster than you, even if you are sprinting. So you want to hop in there, definitely. And we're just going to watch these Pelicans get destroyed by this giant anti-aircraft turret by the Forerunners. Thanks, that's great. Now all our Pelicans are just totally disintegrated, except for that one who flew off to the right. He's totally owned, don't worry, but, I mean, he wasn't just vaporized like the other ones. And right here, this actually helps out your speed a little bit if you get on this turret and just pummel this area with rockets. It's not 100% necessary. Your mammoth will slowly creep by on its own so you can safely be inside. But since we're on easy, I mean, you're probably not going to die out here anyway. So just hop on this turret, and this makes this section pass more quickly. Because the mammoth is like, oh, snap, everyone's dead. I guess we're out. Peace out, coveys. So definitely help your own cause by killing all those enemies. It'll get the mammoth to move by more quickly. And as you can probably tell, I've sped this part up because there's a lot of me just standing on the mammoth or just driving somewhere. I do slow down some parts, which I'm about to do right now. Just get into this Warthog. You'll probably be accompanied by two Spartan 4s, which are in my Warthog right now, which is fine with me. They serve as a good distraction. And once the ramp opens up on the bottom of the mammoth, you're just going to drive out with your Warthog, drive over here, follow this path, grab this target locator, which should be highlighted by a nav point over there. And we're just going to run back. We're not going to take the Warthog. We're going to take this Ghost. Hop in here. It should just be sitting there unoccupied. And just speed over here. Just totally abandon those Spartan 4s. They're fine. They got armor on. And just highlight that whatever turret with the target locator. The Mammoth will take it out. And you just speed into here. The ramp will close. And you'll just drive along for a while. Like 30 seconds you'll drive. And then it will open back up. And you just want to boost out of there once it opens up again. That's actually the cue for everyone to get on board the Mammoth because it's going to cross that crazy river that for some reason you can't cross in your own awesome Master Chief armor. But when it opens up that second time where we boost it out, it actually forms a little bridge over that river. So we could totally just bypass that whole area, speed ahead. The Ghost is much faster than the Mammoth. And we don't actually have to kill any of these three generators that are activating this wall here. You could actually park it just right next to the wall. There's no trick to it really, you just park next to it so it's on your left side and get out and you will kind of pop over to the other side of the barrier. And don't worry about the mammoth, it will follow you over here. You being over here seems to send a signal to it that it's like, oh, this must not be a problem. I'll just drive right on over here. So coming up is a make or break trick. There's a large vehicle combat section here which takes a long time and then you gotta fight your way up into the lich. We're just going to get on the Lich before we even have to deal with any of the vehicles down here. You see this long, tall cactus I'm shooting right now? You want to make sure you're going up to the left of that. You can see I'm shooting it here. It's like a long, stretched out cactus. Jetpack up to the ridge over here on the left side of the cactus thingy. And we're going to land here and then just jump up again. And we're going to land up on top. And we are going to destroy this Forerunner turret. And we're actually going to jump onto the Lich right after. It's actually already spawned. It's kind of hiding half inside this rock over here on the other side. So target it right there. And then wait a half second or so. Maybe a full second. And then just jump up. And then jetpack down slowly. You can see once the turret is destroyed, it activates and comes out of the rock wall. You can see it kind of melted out of the wall there. And then I'm just going to wait a few seconds because if you do this too quickly, it actually gets the mammoth to stop moving through the entire level, which is really annoying. So I waited a few seconds there. Then I sniped the core twice, and that is enough to blow it up. And it is already dead. So I'm just going to jetpack out onto my lovely mammoth, which is in perfect position for us to continue to the next part of the level. Again, if you do it too quickly, the mammoth will actually get stuck and you won't be able to progress unless you want to just run there which takes much longer and you got to know the tricks to get around all those rivers which is way more work than we want to have to deal with. So going back to when we jumped on the lich, uh, you actually want to follow that exact path I took to the left of that skinny cactus because if you get too close to the lich and you go up to the right of it for example, you'll be too close to the lich and it actually falls through the map and gets stuck there so you have to start the level over again. 
which is super annoying because you can't progress without blowing up the lich and if the lich falls through the map then there's no more lich to destroy to move to the next section so you want to make sure you follow the path I took exactly or else you have to start over so I just moved to this section I cut out like two minutes of dialogue where we we're just writing the mammoth uh, Cortana talks to you a lot and you talk back to her and it's this whole thing but I just skipped ahead to this point and I'm just gonna run up to the left there's actually a skip here as well for higher difficulties but I figured on easy you can see I kind of doubled back I started going to that skip and then I'm like wait this is uneasy I'll probably just be able to run through it so just follow this path I found this little ledge here which I could easily run and jump and jetpack across and that despawns most of the Coven enemies, or all of them it seems. You're going to see some Prometheans phase in here. You can see that Promethean Knight phase in and there's some crawlers, but whatever. We're just going to sprint over here and we are going to jetpack up and into this Forerunner structure up here. So this is a weird despawn I may have discovered. Well, I'm sure someone else has found it before me, but I seem to have despawned all the... Oh no, I, I totally lied. I take that back. I just ran past the Grunt. I was going to say I despawned the Covenant, but not the Prometheans, but that's completely wrong. Disregard what I'm saying. Just, you know, do what I'm doing. Don't listen to what I'm actually saying, because what I'm saying is stupid. And here, there's just a lot of running through the Forerunner facility. So I sped this part up. Obviously, you don't need, you know, instructions on how to walk forward. Hopefully. I mean, you've gotten this far. You probably know how to walk by this point. And here, we're in an elevator. I cut out 30 seconds of us just riding an elevator and skipped ahead. The door's open, and we run through more facility. There's a bunch of sentinels leading the way. And we're going to take it right, right here. There's not much to talk about. I should say that this is 20 minutes. The part time is 20 minutes. Obviously, I sped this up. I think I finished around 15 minutes, and this is on easy. You could do this on any difficulty, but obviously easy is the easiest way to go. So we're just going to drop Cortana off here. She's going to do her thing. I don't really, uh, you know, stick around to watch because we don't have to pick her up at this point. There's going to be a light bridge that activates right here where I'm looking, so I'm just kind of waiting for that to happen. And Cortana is on the right doing her thing. Checkpoint, all that good stuff. Light bridge, and here we go. Take a left and then a right. And we are going to take another right. And there's going to be a bunch of sentinels here in a kind of weird formation. You're like, what's going on? And I'm not going to tell you because I skipped the cutscene. And here we are. we got to pick up Cortana out of this console thing. And we got to go to the end of the level at this point. There's not much left. Normally, I just go over to the left and kind of skirt around the edge of the room. But on easy, I'm like, can I just sprint and jump and jetpack over everything? And it turns out, yes, I can. Over there where I'm shooting is the terminal on this level. If you need help with terminals, I have terminal guides up for all of them, along with all the collectibles in the Master Chief Collection, such as Skulls, Blast Soda Cans, ODST Audio Logs. So if you need any help with other Master Chief Collection achievements, I have literally hundreds of videos for various achievements. Most of the achievements are covered. I will be covering them all eventually, along with all the other Halo games, and that includes Xbox One games, 360, PC, and mobile. So check out the channel if you have not already, because it is going to be baller. I've kind of been on hiatus lately. I've only been doing like a video a week ish instead of my usual like three videos a day which was ridiculous which i was sustaining for a long time i'm sure i'll get back to something similar to that once halo 5 drops in three weeks but anyway hijack a ghost if you can and try to boost up here unlike this that is not what you want to do if you're having a lot of trouble like if you repeatedly do what i just did you could just wrap up around to the left and just go around like you normally would but you could get over this little rocky area if you know you're better than i am there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're going to boost over here, and we actually could get by this barrier as well. Not in the same way. Um, we might be able to do it in the same way, but there's a bunch of rocks in the way. And if you get the ghost up right next to it, you might probably be able to do it. But we're just going to do a much easier, faster way. We're just going to run over here, jetpack up here, and we're just going to literally go over the top of it. Just run along the edge here, and just, you know, keep jetpacking, jumping over these rocks. And there's not really any uh, soft kill zones or anything. Those areas where it says, get back in the battlefield or you're going to die in 10 seconds. That's not really present in this area. So you could just literally run over the top and fall down. Use your jetpack to soften the blow when you hit the ground because there is fall damage in Halo 4. So just bounce around down to the bottom. I've sped it up a little bit here because we literally just have to run to the end, grab the target locator, lock onto the gravity well, and that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion and on Twitch at SilverScorpion4, and I will see you guys later for more Halo achievements.